Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another election prediction video. This time we have Governor of California, Gavin Newsom, against former President Donald Trump. So the only way Newsom runs is a as a an emergency candidate. By emergency, I mean Biden drops out of the race. Gavin Newsom says, all right, well, I kind of been running a shadow campaign this whole time as the alternative. He decides to run in the 2024 Democratic primary against Kamala Harris. Now, I do think Newsom would probably be able to edge out Harris in a primary, but it depends. It could be a multiple candidate race, but uh, we're not going to get into that in this video. We're just going to get into the prediction between Trump and Newsom. So uh, before I get into the more competitive states, if you aren't subbed to the channel already, highly recommend doing so, I'm trying to grow that sub count as we get into the new year. And then, uh, yeah. So... Again, Newsom would have an issue. He'd definitely be seen as the more establishment candidate, and that would definitely hurt him in the Rust Belt states. So he has that issue, and Trump is a lot more populist than him as well. But uh, Newsom does share some support with the unions in America. But again, Trump generally tries to avoid criticizing union voters, so... It'll definitely be a close contest for those union voters. The election will probably come down to them. So uh, let's head right into this election prediction. So the first few states, Iowa, safe red. I don't see Newsom really competing here. I think he'll do pretty badly in the rural areas in Iowa, like he did in California in the 2022 gubernatorial elections. In Colorado, I has it. I have it as a safe blue state. Again, it's just trending more and more into the progressives' favor here. I really don't think it's going to be competitive in the future. It's just going to be a safe blue state from now on. In New Mexico, Gavin Newsom definitely underperformed Latino voters in the state of California, and I could just see that applying nationwide. So for now, I'm putting New Mexico as a likely blue state, and Virginia as well, I'm putting as likely blue. He is an establishment Democrat, so he would perform well here. But I just see him doing a bit worse among independent voters, only winning Virginia by a likely blue margin. In Maine at large, I also see it as a likely blue margin, while Trump wins Maine second by a likely Republican margin. Again, he would do well with populist voters, and this is a pretty populist district here. In the state of Ohio, I would put it as a likely Republican state. I just don't think Newsom would do well with a lot of voters in this state. And Ohio just has a diminishing minority population, so... Again, Republican trends here will probably dominate in the future. The state of Florida, like I mentioned before, just did a Latino voters. Trump will probably pretty easily win the state of Florida against Gavin Newsom. Same with the state of Texas. Again, Newsom just did worse with Latino voters in his gubernatorial election. And I just don't think that uh, his appeal would work that well in the state of Texas and Florida. In Minnesota, I still think he would do decently here. Probably a bit better than Joe Biden because of that age issue. He's a much younger candidate. He would probably do better in the debates against Donald Trump. I still think he would hold his own in the state of Minnesota. Same with Nebraska's second. I would put it as a lean blue district. I think he'll underperform Biden's 2020 performance here, but not by enough to lose the district. New Hampshire, I would probably also put as a likely blue state. Again, the state just has a hatred of Donald Trump. It really is no surprise here. It's a socially liberal state at this point, pretty much shifting in the Democrats' favor as we go on through the election cycle. State of Alaska, again, Newsom didn't do the best in the rural states or in the rural parts of California, so that would probably apply to the rural states in America. So I have this as a safe Republican state. In Arizona and Nevada. Nevada, again, Newsom's underperformance with Latino voters will probably cost him the state here, even though he is very pro-choice. I just think his underperformance here will probably hinder him a bit. In the state of Arizona, however, I do think we're probably going to see Arizona become more Democratic than Nevada in the 2024 election, depending on the candidates. But I definitely think that with Arizona, just a bit of a hatred with Donald Trump here, a little bit less Latino voters, but it's more moderate voters here. And Newsom will probably be seen as more a moderate candidate than Trump is, and he'll probably do better with independents here who generally have a heavy dislike towards Donald Trump and would definitely hope for a not a Trump v. Biden matchup again. I think Newsom would pretty much luck out to a victory here. 
in North Carolina. I just don't think Newsom would do the best with African American turnout in this state. Again, in some of uh, the media and the debates, he did criticize the South a bit, so I, I could see that hurting him a tiny bit here. Same with Georgia, even though he would do well in the urban areas. I just think the suburbs wouldn't be the best for him, and I don't think he's the best candidate to engage uh, African-American turnout in this state, so I have it as a tilt Republican state. State of Michigan, I do think Newsom would be able to win here in the state, but it would be a lot closer than expected. Again, Trump is actually doing relatively well in the state of Michigan, according to the polls, when it's him v. Biden. But uh, against Newsom, I do think Newsom would be able to squeeze out a narrow victory here. And this is the issue with Newsom. I don't think he would do the best in Wisconsin and Pennsylvania with the populist voters especially. I think they'll both narrowly trend towards Donald Trump. So I have Wisconsin as tilt Republican and Pennsylvania as tilt Republican, and there goes the entire election. So I think Trump would be able to beat Newsom. Again, I don't think he's the best candidate for the Midwestern states here. He just doesn't have the best populist appeal. He wouldn't do the best with independent voters. Just kind of how I see it going. Unless Trump just massively underperforms in the election debates. Because, again, Trump's quite old too. And Newsom's a much younger candidate. So pretty much has to be like Newsom does amazing in the debates to beat Donald Trump. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I see a Newsom v. Trump matchup going in the 2024 election. If you like this video and you aren't subscribed already, you should totally do so. I'd be very appreciative of that. Other than that, if you have any recommendations for future video ideas, I'll take them. As long as it's a relevant candidate. But uh, other than that, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.